Hello everybody and welcome to Honey Bunny Games. My name is Twisted and today we are going to be playing Golden Lens. So what is Golden Lens? Golden Lens is a 3D puzzle prototype that is currently in full development. Oh my, this is a button. It is a really, really cool concept. You'll see this in a minute. So we have this button over here. It turns on the stairs. Seems pretty simple. Seems pretty easy. Not a big problem. That's very, very easy. This, we cannot do anything with these guys right now. Uh, they're just in the way. We can jump around. Doesn't really help us at all. So we're gonna just climb the stairs. And this game, I, I found this game on itch.io. Whoa, it's a red beam wall or something. I found this game on itch.io. I love itch.io. They have a lot of awesome games. And this one has a really cool concept. So, over here, you can see we have these things. And they don't actually exist in the real world. So we can actually see them from here. So if we follow, if we look at this carefully, is there anything down there? There's nothing down there. Look at over here, you can see there's one in that area, one in that area. So, the golden lens allows us to see what is not there. Getting on that stuff is going to be a bit more difficult, but we do have the vision. Although I am kind of bad at the game. Come on. It's like that, you go over there, right, that should be fairly easy. Oh, what's on the right side here? Nothing, I guess. Alright, that's a, um, sounds simple. I'm just gonna have to get a, like, nice little running start. Yeah, there we go. And over here, and then over here. They- oh, god damn. Where are they? They are there, they're between those two lines in the corner. Good to know. Oh! God damn. It's tough! It's tough jumping on something you cannot actually see. It's fine, though. Oh! Okay, there we go. There's the green area. Awesome. Alright, hello, Golden Lens. Help me out with this level. Alright, so we have a bunch of blue ones, we have a bunch of green ones. They're all very blurry and pixely, I guess they're just fake. So I'm guessing the green ones are the real deal. Let's actually give it a go, let's start jumping on this guy, let's see what happens. Yeah, this guy is just not a thing, he's just like nothing. This guy though, over here, is the real deal. Alright, good to know, so these are all just illusions. Let's take a peek, how do we do this? We do... okay, let's... Number two, and then number three. Two, three, four. Three, two. Two, three, four, three, two. It's gonna be real difficult, actually. Two. Three. Four. Three. Two. And there we go. Awesome. That was actually really easy. Oh, this is than I expected. What is this? We have different areas now. Interesting. This door cannot be opened. Good to know. We can just go down there. I don't think that there's a need for that. I still don't really know what these force fields actually do. This is a real thing that exists. I'm guessing they have a purpose. I'm guessing I'm gonna just fall down here. This is such, such an obvious trap. Guys, it's not even funny. Oh! oh. You didn't fall? Oh, I guess this is a real thing. Alright. This is real and that is real. Good to know. What if we look from the other side? I don't see anything useful over here. Alright, that's good to know. So we have two real things over there. If you go over here, makes everything a whooshy sound. You can turn this laser on, and the laser is going to actually disintegrate the thing, I guess. Hold on, is it now disintegrated? It actually is. Okay, I guess I get, I get it. It paints it red. It paints red in the other dimension, which means it doesn't actually exist anymore. Good to know. So now we can actually go there. Oh, but for some reason this stopped working. Oh, because we turned it into. Oh, actually, never mind. I get it. I had it all wrong. We are now in the red dimension. You can see it in the bottom left corner. I am so dumb. I feel so bad. I'm sorry, guys. We're in the red dimension. Which means we can go to red stuff. But now, if we go over here, we're gonna be in the green one again. Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it now. I had, I had, I misunderstood it a little bit. I thought it just made things disappear. That's my problem, my fault. Get introduced to the blue dimension here. Interesting. Good to know. It kind of reminds me a little tiny bit of Quantum Conundrum. Because of all these, they're not really dimensions, I guess, but they do, like, change stuff around. We're in the blue one right now. We can go through the blue stuff, right? Or we, we, we bump into, into blue stuff. We bump into blue stuff. Alright, so we are blue. Just like the blue stuff over there. If we transform ourselves into the red color, we can go through that one, but not through that one. So we, what we want to do is we want to paint that one. Oh, god damn. Okay, that actually messes up quite a bit. Can we paint ourselves? We cannot. Oh, this actually moves it. Alright, interesting. So, we have those two want to paint them... Let's try moving this first. What if we do this? 
We fire both of them. That one's gonna become red now. Oh god, I didn't want to move it. So those two are red. If we are blue, we can go through them. And then we kind of go through that one. But that's gonna let us access another button. We can jump here. Yes, we can. Access this button over here, which is gonna move that bad boy. Alright, now we're kicking. Now we're getting somewhere. So now, if we fire the button of magic, and we redify that one, and also want to move this one, want to redify that one. So now, if you redify our, actually no, if you stay blue, we can just go through these two, right? Yeah, we can. Awesome. Noise. Good to know. What about this thing? This is transparent. Awesome. Good to know. Good to know. Right, yeah, green dimension. Alrighty, so where are we? We have this thing, we cannot go through that because we are green ourselves. We have a blue thing over there, and we also have a yellow thing over there. We have a lot of colors nearby, it's getting a bit more complicated than I expected. Gotta keep in mind on all the colors, this moves the thing. I wish this button would tell you what they do. This also moves the thing, and this fires the thing. Why? I don't know. But now the, this blue blueified this one, so we can go through it, which is fine. We can go climb up here, now we are blue. Which means we can walk on this thing. Nice. This tried to greenify something, but it didn't succeed because we have to actually reverse the thing. If we go over here, we're gonna just bump into this, right? Yeah, we're gonna just die horribly. Well, not die, but we're gonna fail horribly. So we wanna blueify that one. We're gonna move this thing and wanna. That's that nothing. We want to be blue ourselves. We want to blueify something else. Let's go through here. Blueify ourselves. Walk on this bad boy. And do this. This is gonna greenify that thing. Which means it's no longer blue. We can go through the green stuff. I'm good. And now this button is going to. What does it do? Oh, it blueified it again. Right? Now we can't go through. Oh, we're stuck now. Why did that happen? Oh, because we want to actually move the thing out of the way first. All right, let's let's move this thing. Uh, this is blue, right? Yeah. So we want to blue. Want to greenify us? Greenify ourselves? I'm making a horrible mistake here. I don't know. We're not blue. We can now walk on the blue stuff, right? We can go through this thing. No, we cannot. We can walk on this thing, though, right? Yeah. We can then do this, which doesn't do anything. We have to move it first. We have to move this thing back. It's 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 tricky. Okay, that not that. Move it back. Then we have to make ourselves green again. Go over here. Become blue. There's no way to not become blue in here. So we can walk on this bad boy. Can we go to this one? It's hard to remember what the color of everything was. So then if we do this, it's gonna uh, activate this green one, it's gonna greenify that one, which means we can walk on it. Now we can fire... This makes it blue again. Which is bad. Alright, so, okay, so I, I know what to do now. Quickly check, quickly make, okay. I think we have to do this. Greenify ourselves. Go in here, go up here, walk on this bad boy. Uh, change the color of that thing. And then we jump down. Which one moves it again? Uh, it's this one. We make ourselves green again, so we can go through this platform. Get blue. We go in here. We activate this bad boy. Right now we are blue, we should be able to walk on this, right? Yeah, and we can just go over here and go. We're gonna become yellow. We can go through this, right? Yes, awesome! I'm 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 amazing. I love myself so much. I'm so good. Right, so we are now in the library land. A lot of books in here. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, the end. All right. So that's the end of the current demo. There's not a lot of gameplay, as I mentioned. It's just a nice little prototype. Uh, the game, I will link the game to you in the description, it's really fun, I do want them to explore this concept a bit more, I do really enjoy it quite a bit. I like these puzzle games with perspective changes and whatnot, I think they're really cool. But yeah, I'm gonna actually end this video here, if you guys enjoyed, please feel to leave a like, leave a comment, it helps out a great deal, more than you can even imagine. But yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching, my name's been Twisted from Herbin Games, and I will see you next time.